As the months get warmer, I love waking up with the sun. I feel energized and I enjoy the quiet and peace it provides. I spend these first few precious hours of my day taking care of my needs, as I have the tendency to put others first. I feel most creative in the mornings and nights, so as I wait for the sun to fully rise, I enjoy editing or writing new content. This is a new habit I've implemented in an effort to break up my day more and find a routine that suits me. And it's working beautifully. This way, I always have the time for what's important to me and what I want to do. And I am therefore able to be more flexible and available for others for the rest of my day. And then at about seven o'clock, I'm ready for yoga. Listening to the rustling of the leaves on the trees, the birds chirping, feeling the sun slowly coat and soak into my skin, energizing me. The wind cascading around my body, caressing me. The stable earth below, grounding me. It may sound cheesy or fake, but this is my reality. Practicing yoga in the elements feels more aligned than I can express. There are days where I really look forward to it, and days where yoga is the last thing I want to do. But without fail, I always leave my mat feeling better than when I stepped on. Through yoga, I am able to reconnect with my center and self within. I am simultaneously disconnecting from the outside world, whilst also connecting but on a much deeper level. I'm able to sit back and observe and listen, not react and just be. For a highly sensitive person, this is a gift. There is no pressure for my body or brain to respond to external stimuli. This is my time to just exist. And I cherish that. If you know me at all, you'll know that I love food. It's always brought me so much happiness and I love sharing it with loved ones. Every day I look forward to my breakfast, which is normally just on sourdough, but sometimes we get these hot cross buns and they're freaking delicious. I love creating food that satiates, satisfies, energizes and fuels me, whilst of course tasting incredible. And I love being able to take some time to enjoy it. I happily give up little social media breaks throughout the day if it means I can take that bit longer to properly enjoy my breakfast. Lately I've been rereading the Harry Potter series and it's the perfect way to finish off my healthily selfish morning. Now it's time to get dressed and sit down to work for the day. Changing into clothes that are suitable for the outside of my house really helps me feel mentally ready to work and stay on task. I also find that I just enjoy, you know, feeling a little bit pretty. So I pop on my jewelry and wear a dress that makes me feel good. And most importantly, it has to be comfortable. Luckily, I only own comfy clothes because I realized a long time ago that if it's not comfortable, I simply won't wear it. So for the next few hours, I work. Currently, most of my work is either freelance editing work Cave Girl content, the documentary Louie and I are working on, or any other little projects I'm working on to set myself up for the future. I work best when I have one or two major focuses for that day, and I cannot multitask. I need to be able to hone in completely on a task, because if I'm bouncing between things, I get distracted and I don't produce my optimal standard of work. In busier times, or when I have a lot on my plate, I can easily become overwhelmed. This is when it's most important for me to focus on one task at a time, breaking it into smaller, more manageable chunks. By about 12.30 or so, I'm pretty hungry. And if you know me, you may not know this, but if you really know me, you'll know I can get really hangry. This is actually a fairly common trait of an HSP, as we are sensitive to blood sugar changes. So yes, I often find myself apologizing to the people around me if I've accidentally bitten their heads off before I've taken a bite of food. Like breakfast, I love reading during this time. It helps provide me with a mental break so I can re-enter work feeling refreshed, 
and I just love reading. Over the past few years, I have learned to really embrace and love my highly sensitive nature. It can of course bring its challenges and they can be really difficult, but I am also witness to so much more beauty. I have learned that in order to thrive as an HSP in this world, I need to make sure that I set time aside for myself and what I want to do. I need to move in a way that makes me feel happy and be proud of the little quirks that make me unique. There's still a lot I struggle with, like comparing myself to others, becoming consumed in social media, worrying what people might think when I'm filming out in public. There's a lot I struggle to do, like drink coffee, as it makes me shaky and jittery, falling asleep at night because my mind is awake and thinking of new, crazy ideas or fantasies, and going into a really loud or strong-smelling place as my senses are overwhelmed. Sometimes the news can be too much. Hearing about all the horrible and tragic situations around the world can cause a very visceral reaction. Every day, I like to move my body in some fashion, whether it's climbing, going for a walk, surfing, hiking, boxing, whatever is available to me. Today, it was a fitness class. Getting out, moving my body, being with people helps me navigate the ups and downs of being a highly sensitive person in this world. And it also helps remind me why I love it so much. This life truly is a blessing even when it's difficult. The final thing you should know about me is that I am a massive family person. Spending time with loved ones probably brings me the most joy in this world. Around loved ones, I am my 100% true, authentic self. I don't need to hide, I don't want to change who I am, and I'm not worried about what they'll think. I know they love me for who I am, highly sensitive or not. So that was a day in my life. I'm sensitive, but it doesn't define me and it doesn't stop me from living a life that makes me really happy. Not every day is so rosy or aligned because that's life. I just try to remember how lucky I am to experience it.